Today we're playing King of the Hill for bottles that you sh that everybody should have on their bar. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are gonna bourbon battle it up. Yeah. Uh, between some staples on bars, basically, to me. If you have a bar of any substantial uh, level, you should have all three of these sitting yeah. and available. So, whenever we did the... If you're low on this, you should have a replacement. If you're low on this, you should have a replacement. If you're low on this, you should have a replacement. I do have a replacement. Uh, so, I... Going back to our, like, price tier uh -huh. battle that we did. Yeah. I'm convinced this is still better than what it plays. I don't know where, I don't know where, but just remember, like, this was, like, It wasn't high. It was, like, seven for me and, like, five for you or something maybe. like that. Yeah, I can't but remember. But it didn't even compete for the top three. No. Both these were in the top three, and this one didn't even compete whenever I thought it would be. I thought it would arguably win. Yeah. And this is a pretty good bottle. So, we want to do just a little blind, see which ones we, we like the most. And, yeah. And throw this in there, so... Anyways, before we begin, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notifications button, all that. And if we should have added one more or taken one of these out, please let us know. And uh, if we like it, like the idea, we may we'll steal it. it. We, we may steal we your might, idea. We'll say steal, we'll use. Sounds much nicer. We'll use and not give back to you. Yeah. And sounds, claim it as our own. Sounds much nicer. Sounds like stealing to me. Anyways, so just to let y'all know, we start from <laughs> right to left, we take a break, then we go from left to right, and then we decide which one we like. That's so true. Also, just for full transparency, um, we just shot the uh, <coughs> fabulous 23-year crown golden apple from Crown Royal. Which so, tastes nothing like a golden apple to me. It's all green apple. Tastes glorious. So we are a little, uh, little stuck on that right now. Oh yeah. Chocolate. A little bit of a cigar box. Yeah, definitely smell the chocolate. A little perfumey ethanol. Going from an 80 proofer to that. Yeah, that's a that lot hits. different. Yeah, that's a lot different. It's really drying on the back end, which I like. It has a little bit of a tobacco-ness to the back end of it. Yeah, this is weird how it does have tobacco in it. I dig that, that's good. I probably will say that about all of them. I, I dig that, that's good. Huh. I dig this one, it's good. All right, all right. <clears throat> hmm. This one's a little subtle in its... Get oak. Yeah. I feel like I never want to say oak because I don't... <laughs> But it is what you get. If it's no, it's no. True. Like a dark... Vanilla. Like a... To me, I get like a little... Dark fruit. Hmm. Good. Yeah, that's just smooth. That's just rich. It's easy. <clears throat> it's less proof than that one. It's definitely easier. I think the oak Coke's still. Really well. I think the oak still shines through on that. It's comforting in its home. Coats so well, <clears throat> and it has really nice like oak spice to it. Yeah, it just feels like it's popping on your palate, really, really nicely. 
That's great. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, that smells. I don't know of these three, which one this would be at all. Hmm. Again, I, I feel like the nose on this is subtle just because I think the first one kind of ruined my nose for the other two. I think it, I don't want to say it ruined it. But not, I'm just saying not ruined it, but like it overshadowed the, sm the, the nose on it. Some really nice spice, some really nice caramel and vanilla. Yeah. It's like subtle, but yet impactful all at the same time. Mm. It's kind of weird to describe it on the nose. It seems very traditional to me, like just a traditional kind of nose with a smidge more spice than normal. <clears throat> Got a little spice on it. Yeah. Um, also has a little bit more of an ethanol note to it as well. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's still really good though. Yeah, that, that one's interesting to me. A lot of oak spice to that, barrel yeah. spice. <clears throat> Some fruit pops on that. All three really good in different ways. Interesting. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, interesting. All right, we're gonna take a break. All right, we're back. Any early favorites right now? Uh, I want to say one for whatever reason. Maybe it was because the first one we drank. Sure. I feel like it was really well balanced and mm -hmm. kind of, although two was good too. So I think it, for, as of right now, two's the early favorite. Yeah. Two was really smooth. Like mm -hmm. I could see where on a certain day, one would be mm -hmm. my favorite. And on, on another day, this would be my favorite. Yeah. I would agree. Um, I don't know about three, like three just was left wanting at that at that point like there was something missing out of three for me yeah i mean it was still good i just I was like saying. it was just something sure. that's missing maybe we'll as we go back it'll be different maybe we'll figure it out mm -hmm. and right there on the nose it's already way different way different chocolate on the nose yep it's got a strong way stronger nose than oh my gosh through. yeah that is night and day different yeah, the chocolate. That's so why I tell you guys, y'all got to reset some spice, your palate. There's like spice in that that comes out. A little bit of caramel. A little desserty-ish. Yes, that's what I was going to say, desserty-ish. Because the ethanol is there too. Yeah, yeah. A little bit higher proof. Yeah. All right. Oh, to yeah. me, to me, this is smoother than the first time through. Like, it does. Three is so much better this time around. Yeah, I think the same thing. Like, it's, like three is like a lot better coming back around. Mm. That's really good. I feel like it's really well balanced now. <clears throat> like that spice is good, but you get those you get those notes of like a little bit of note of yeah. chocolate and a little bit of that. Um, sweetness in there, man. That's way, way so, better than the, the first it, time. What, and what you said is actually a really good point. And I, I was thinking, I just didn't say it, but what you said is spot on. As I say in bourbon, with a lot of good bourbons, like a, a really good bourbon can tell a story, right? And it goes through its arc, and then it comes down for its conclusion. This one was all like 
squiggly lines. Yeah. Like it was yeah. going everywhere. Yeah. Didn't really have a good story to I it. agree with that. It had all these great pieces to it, but it just wasn't, yeah. it didn't feel like well put together. I was like, what is that? Manassan's resetting everything. It's great. Yeah, that's fantastic. Where I was thinking my head was going to go. Hmm. All right. Oh. This one's vastly different too. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like on the on the way on the way out, you you got floral notes in that. I didn't really give floral notes in it on the first time, but on this time through, like I get a little bit of that. This is a lot more sweeter on the second go around. Has like a really, really sugary bubblegum. Hmm. Oh yeah, sugary and spice. Yep, it's still as smooth as it was on the first time through. Yeah, it's creamy. It's the smoothest of all of these, which yeah. whatever this is. <clears throat> yeah, I agree with that. That's really good too. I love coming back and doing everything. Yeah, it's yeah, just it, so yeah, different. yeah. It's so so different. All right, now third here. Whoa. So much more of that cigar box. Yeah. Just kind of pops on that. It really does. It's like a little bit of like a chocolate powder. Yep. Caramel. Mm -hmm. The ethanol is still there overall. I think you're right on that. <clears throat> a lot of banana comes out on that though. Really does. A lot of banana. It's almost like a banana pudding on that now. Not terrible. No, no, I mean, obviously. Not terrible at all. Obviously, we, we like all of these bottles, mm -hmm. so it's not like any of yeah, these I are agree. gonna be bad. Yeah, It I just, <clears throat> it is what it is. Um, I can rank mine. Yeah, I think I can rank mine too. Um, and of course we did the same order. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, so what's our guesses? I'm gonna say that the second one is, I feel like this is rare breed. Okay, I would agree with you on that. Yeah. I'm confused which one is between the Jack Daniels and the Old Forester. Yeah. The Old Forester, I would think I'd get a lot more banana on. Um, and I, and I did get some banana on this one. I didn't say that to you just because I didn't want to like lead you yeah. towards any notes. No, I, but, but I, this one at the end is so strong banana. It's like, how could you miss it? I, I feel like though this is, this is generally smoother yeah. than, than, um, what I think this one is. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I, it's hard, it's hard to guess, but this is my order, whatever, whatever it is. Um, I, it is. Um, been done. Let's see what we got here. Sure. Uh, one is Jack Daniels. So this would have been one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two is Rare Breed. Okay, makes sense. And three is 1920. So again, makes sense. Yeah. So we thought 1920, which so it kind of <laughs> it kind of held up to what we it said did. Before. It did kind of held, held up. up. Yeah. It I, held I will up. say though, the Jack Daniels at least fought harder in this one. Yes, uh, than previously before. I agree with that. So that, tell us that. what tell us if you've blinded these what what you what you got and all that good stuff. And until the next time, we'll see you. We'll see you.